Today I want to show you guys why you need to be bleeding your fish. I'm going to bleed half of the fish I catch today. We'll take them home, get the fillets off of them, and take a look. And I'll let you be the judge. But first, we got to catch some fish, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we've got something on a mullet here. Nice flounder. Well, can't keep him. That is a beautiful fish. Black drum. Definitely a keeper. I'm gonna go ahead and bleed him. Show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll just come right up here into the gills. Clip. And that's it. All right. Good start. that for this. What are you? That's a drum. That's a big drum. This is a big drum. Oh, it's red. What you did. He thumped it. That was a sea urchin. So I've been using this seaweed to kind of keep these crabs cool during the day. Keeps them moist. Looks really good. Nice cheap. There he is. We're at the top end of the tide here. Slowed down just a little bit. I got that one on the mud crab. Just got over here. That's a pretty fish. Sixteen and a half, and I'm not going to cut this one. All right, back to it. Black drum. Let's 
16 and a half. I'm actually not gonna cut this one. So we can compare it to that other one. All right. Bite's picking up. It's falling good now. Caught this one on an urchin. Pretty fish. Sixteen and a half. I'm gonna cut this one. And this one's still alive. It's cold, it's still alive. Well, I've had enough fun for today. The fish did cooperate and I was able to catch two sets of near identical fish to compare meat quality. Bled versus unbled. So let's go back to the house and take a look. All right, let's open them up and take a look. So here we have our sheep's head. This one's pretty obvious. I bled this one. This one I did not. Um, you can see the there's some more blood up in here. The meat looks a little bit darker. This meat is just pure white and beautiful. Um, you know, this wouldn't be bad to eat fresh, but if you freeze it, you're definitely gonna tell a difference. This one's gonna be a little bit stronger. Um, this one's gonna freeze really well and keep a lot longer and taste better. Um, all right, let's look at the black drum. Here's our black drum. Um, these smaller fish are a little bit harder to tell apart, but you can definitely see some reddening up in here. The meat is a little bit darker um, to get a red splotch down here um, on the bottom of this one, but um, definitely would still recommend to bleed your, your smaller fish as well. Um, you know, it, it takes about two seconds to do it and it's gonna make the meat quality that much better. So, um, that's gonna do it, folks. I uh, hope this helps you and we'll see you next time.